With the first pick of the 2023 MLB Draft, the Pittsburgh Pirates pick Paul Skeens, right-handed pitcher from LSU. Wow, so there you have it. Paul Skeens, number one to the Pittsburgh Pirates. Jay Johnson, head coach of LSU. Tell us why the Pirates got this right. It's a transformational player and a transformational person. This is the number one pick in the draft and rightfully so and he's a better person than he is a pitcher. It's a fastball up to 102 he averages 98 he suffocates the zone with it slider was spectacular change ups legit absolute winner couldn't have made a better decision. I, I think it's a perfect pick look this tells you a lot about where the Pirates see themselves. They know they are knocking on the door of completely turning this franchise around. This is a ace. This is a franchise turner. This is a perfect pick in my mind for the Pirates. Congratulations, Ben. No doubt. Congratulations, Jay, to your program. You. Take a look inside the Skeens family. Uh, some familiar faces there, right, Jay? Yeah, that's awesome. I couldn't be happier for Paul. He really deserves this. And Coach, it looks like you made the right decision. Drop the bat, go pitch, and you're the number one pick overall. Pretty good stuff. Tough decision. He literally would have hit 25 home runs, but to be the number one pick, most valuable player in college baseball this year. Paul deserves every you know, bit of this. Very rarely in the draft has the best player ended up being your actual need, too. It lined up perfectly for the Pirates. They got the best player and a definitive need for the franchise. Absolutely amazing. Um, can't, can't even really put it in words. Uh, I think it's going to take me a little bit of time to, to process it, but it um, feels like, you know, it's a lot of work and a lot of. Um, you know, surrounding myself with the right people and doing the right thing for a long period of time and, and you know, feels like something good really happened. With the number two pick in the 2023 MLB Draft, the Washington Nationals select Dylan Cruz, an outfielder from LSU. You know what, Jay? Your night's getting better by the second. Uh, Dylan Cruz, second overall to the Washington Nationals. Tell that fan base what they're getting. They're getting a the face of the franchise. As a player, can do everything. As a person, blends humility with the right kind of edge. This tool set shows up every day to help their team win. Coach, you just set a record, man. Teammates won two in the draft. And what does that mean to your program? Can't quantify it. And we want to be about development. We want to be about development for Major League Baseball. Well, you're seeing it here tonight. I'll tell you, one of the things that really jumped out at me, guys, and looking at Dylan's metric, against 95 plus fastball, large sample size, he hit 444 with an 833 slug. So most of that velocity was velocity up. So everybody says, question the power. He had, eight, had a slugging percentage of 833 against 95 mile an hour plus fastball. That's elite. Dylan Cruz from LSU is a tremendous talent. Um, he's a great baseball player, uh, advanced player already at this age. Uh, he hits the ball from line to line. He has power to the opposite field. He really can run, play great defense. Um, he's an all-around five-tool player, and uh, any team that takes him will be very happy. Uh, I know he'll be quick to the big leagues, and he's going to have an incredible career. With the third pick of the 2023 MLB Draft, the Detroit Tigers select Max Clark, an outfielder from Franklin Community High School, Franklin, Indiana. Clark goes number three, one of the best high school prospects to ever come out of the state of Indiana, the 2023 Gatorade National Player of the Year. That smile is going to reign supreme in Detroit. It absolutely is. He is one of the best to come out of Indiana, and he wanted to be the best because he wants to show the Midwest can get it done. He got to talk to Danny Wexelman and his growth and career through this, and he said he picked baseball over football because some days you use your feet, some days it's the bat, some days it's just your mind. How do you rate the toolsiest of the tools here? Yeah, I mean, I think it is maybe the toolsiest player in this class. It's double plus speed, it's double plus arm strength, it's plus defense in center field. He's one of the best pure hitters in the class I think the only real question you have with Matt Clark is how much power is he going to get to he's plenty strong but what sort of home run production are we looking at yeah and we're not talking like he's a slappy guy it's like is it yeah. 20 homers is it 25 or 30 he has the most well-rounded tools of these five guys we're talking at the top of the draft with the fourth pick of the 2023 MLB draft the Texas Rangers select Wyatt Langford an outfielder from the University of Florida Wyatt Langford, he hit 26 home runs last year, 21 home runs in 64 games this year. Dan O'Dowd, tell me why they got it right. 
I mean, this is an explosive athlete. As I said earlier, this kid brings his glove, his bat, and a sledgehammer to the game when he plays. Everything he does is with controlled violence. And I think he's still an emerging player. We talk about players with good floors and ceilings. I think this kid's got a great floor. I still feel ceiling-wise there's so much more he can do. We talk about his offense, but the other parts of his game are good too. This guy, from a base running standpoint, is explosive on the bases. I don't think we give him enough credit for how fast he actually is on the field. With the fifth pick of the 2023 MLB Draft, the Minnesota Twins select Walker Jenkins, an outfielder from South Brunswick High School in Southport, North Carolina. So there you have it, Walker Jenkins, the number one selection for the perfect game 2023 class. His head coach, Ben Stroll, has been in charge of this program for 33 years and called him a man among boys. Jim, what makes him head and shoulders above everybody else? Yeah, he's the best high school prospect to come out of North Carolina since Josh Hamilton. I think he's going to have big time power. He's got a chance to play in center field. He hits for average, he hits for power. It's great makeup. What's interesting to me is we didn't know if it was going to work out this way. We thought it would. The top five picks all went in the top five. These are all five number one caliber players. You look here, that's all solid or plus tools across the board. That's pretty good. And you got that guy at five. And, and Carlos, what Dan was saying, the last three teams you just picked got number one pick caliber talents because of the lottery. If they don't win the lottery, they aren't getting these guys. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's huge. And I think for Walker especially, it might be the best hit power combination in the high school class. I think that's really what separates him. With the sixth pick of the 2023 MLB draft, the Oakland Athletics select Jacob Wilson, a shortstop from Grand Union University. His dad played the big leagues for a long time, shortstop, more prominently with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Here's Jacob Wilson with the experience of a lifetime. Drafted sixth overall, putting on the Oakland Athletics uniform and cap, walking in front of all of these fans on the stage to shake the commissioner's hand and take a photo that his grandchildren and great-grandchildren will enjoy. So. That's just an incredible scene right there, too. What an environment inside the stadium we've got going on right now. Yeah, you know, it's a it's a dream come true, for sure. This is a moment I've been waiting for for, for a long time now, and I'm just super excited. You know, I hear my name called, and I'm just super thankful for my family and friends who supported me throughout this entire process. With the seventh pick of the 2023 MLB Draft, the Cincinnati Reds select Rhett Louder, a right-handed pitcher from Wake Forest. So there you have it. The 21-year-old Demon Deacon gets the next selection here. He comes in for the National Pitcher of the Year finalist, Golden Spikes Award semifinalist, two-time ACC Pitcher of the Year, who has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Paul Skeens. And when you talk about the fact that you're looking for pitching this year, he's about what he's going to be once he joins this organization. But, Jim, for you, why is he that hot commodity? Yeah, I think the two best college pitchers this season just were the two best first pitchers we saw taken in the draft. I think he's the most polished pitcher in this draft. With the eighth pick of the 2023 MLB draft, the Kansas City Royals select Blake Mitchell, a catcher from Sinton High School in Sinton, Texas. There you have it, the 18-year-old out of Texas off the board next back-to-back -back Texas Gatorade High School Player of the Year, and his numbers back it up. He was an LSU commit, Jim, but he might be on the move. Yeah, I think Jay knew he wasn't getting him because this is a really special player. You know, there's some teams that are reluctant to take high school catchers. They think it's a risky position. But to me, if you have a player who profiles as a top pick, even if he didn't play catcher, then I'm not worried about that guy being a high school catcher. And that's Blake Mitchell. He can hit for average. He can hit for power. He's up to 97 miles an hour on the mound. It's a big time arm. If this guy was a third baseman or a right fielder, he'd still be a first round pick, maybe not number eight. So I love this pick. I don't buy into the high school catching risk if the guy has that kind of talent. And Jay's probably a little bit sad, but again, Jay's had a lot to be thankful for. And I think he knew he wasn't getting Blake Mitchell to that Ridge. With the ninth pick in the 2023 MLB draft, the Colorado Rockies select Chase Dolander, a right-handed pitcher from the University of Tennessee. Well, this uh, right-hander from the University of Tennessee had an incredible 2022, 10-0, 2.39 ERA. This past year, 7-6 with a 4.75. Uh, it's a guy you know well, Jay, in the SEC. 
do we look into those numbers and read too much into it or do you think they made the right call with his swing and missed up. Yeah, this guy's special. You definitely want to take him. I think it's a quick trip to the big leagues for Chase. Fastball's up to 99, and he does it easy. And when he does it easy like that, it's really hard to differentiate between pitches. He's got a ton of deception and a great arm. Yeah, I think the Rockies just got the second best pitcher in this year's draft behind Skeen. With the 10th pick of the 2023 MLB draft, the Miami Marlins select Noble Meyer, a right-handed pitcher, from Jesuit High School in Portland, Oregon. Noble Meyer, 6'5", 200 pounds. He's considered the top high school pitching prospect in this draft class. Uh, great moment. Fans cheering him on. Shaking hand with the commissioner. Noble Meyer. I mean, the development, I would say. Just getting better every day. Uh, I mean, that's the part that excites me the most. And I mean, I wouldn't be anywhere without my family, coaches. Um, I mean, it's all, it's every step of the way is wonderful.